Clay is medicine. Clay is non-toxic. It's regenerative. It's the original building material for man. When we harvest clay for builds, what's happening is people having direct contact with the material. It's non-toxic, so we can touch it with our bare hands, we can mix it with our bare feet. In the conventional building world, we have been taught that we buy materials in stores. And what Cobb Therapy tries to introduce to people is that nature has this giant store. It's, it's ready for us to have relationship with it. Cobb is an old Welsh word meaning lump of mud. And this lump of mud is a mixture of clay, sand, and straw. You mix the clay with the sand and the straw and the water and all of those materials together turn into this really durable, long-lasting, and very strong, it's almost like nature's cement. The materials that we use to build an oven have to be processed, but it's at a very human scale. So we can do all of the processing right on site, pushing clay through screens, stomping it into powder, sifting rocks so that we get the right size of sand and pebbles. Cobb Therapy aims to bring people together in a community around a build project. And when we're building an oven and we're bringing this material together with our bare feet and our bare hands and we're mixing it as a community, what happens is we create relationships with each other. And those relationships end up in the build, in the project, in the oven. start with harvesting stones from the landscape and bringing it together to build this foundation of natural wall that has all the rhythms and, and variation that we find out in nature. So we, we build a stone foundation from the ground up. It's like growing an oven. And then we've got to think about how we're going to insulate the floor of our oven. And we use glass bottles. Um, and these glass bottles um, create empty airspace, which traps the heat and doesn't allow it to go through. Then we want to, to build that oven floor. Three and we have to strong. set the fire bricks just right so that we have a nice level cooking surface. Next step, we build a dome. And this is a clay sand mixture. This is the thermal mass of the oven. This is the battery bank. So when we build a fire in, this clay will store that heat and then radiate back into the food. End of, of every oven build is so exciting because this is where we get to, to unleash our creative nature. So we shape the oven. We, we use little tools to, to create sculptural elements, to add, add to the the allure of what's already existing here, which is community, a food gathering place, and an oven. Clay has drawing properties, so you get it on your skin, and especially hands and feet, and it pulls toxins to the surface. People use clay and face masks. People take clay internally to cleanse their organs. And people use clay to build their homes. You don't, you don't have to have a cob house to, to have clay. And we bring, a, we bring clay plaster into people's homes all the time. And clay plaster has all the same benefits that cob does. So it regulates humidity, it regulates temperature, it still purifies your air. All of these qualities can be brought into anybody's house. You don't have to have a cob walls for this. This can be applied to pretty much any wall substrate. The way that food tastes when it's cooked in an oven like this, the flavor of the earth right underneath your feet can be put into the oven that then gets the food gets baked in. In our history, we've always had relationship with the land that we lived on. 
And those materials still exist today. We've just been disconnected from that relationship. So our aim is to, to rekindle that relationship. It's all just underneath our feet. We just gotta go dig it up. Thank you.